Hello everyone, welcome to Lecture Maker Training Module. In this module, we will learn how to insert document files such as PowerPoint files. Now let's start. First, let's create a new slide. To insert a PowerPoint file, go to Insert tab on your menu bar. Under the Insert tab, click on the Document button. Once you have clicked on the document button, you can see various kinds of document files such as PowerPoint, PDF and web page. All these can be inserted on your slides very easily in Lecture Maker. Now click on the PowerPoint button. After clicking on the button, go to your slide and then you can see that your cursor's shape has been changed into a plus or cross-like shape. Position or drag your cursor to where you want your PowerPoint file be inserted in. Once you release your mouse key, a window will appear on your screen. From this window, start looking for the PowerPoint file that you need, then click on Open. After selecting the file that you need, another window will appear on your screen. Now this part is very important for us to know. In this window, you can see on the insert row the type category. Click on the arrow. You can see that there are many types to choose from on how you want your PowerPoint file to appear, such as image, slide background image, PowerPoint document, and PowerPoint slide. I will explain the types and show examples for each one by one. Let's say that you want your file to appear as image on your slides. Click on As Image right down below the window. You can see a list of your existing files with boxes beside them. Choose the PowerPoint slides that you want to appear on your slides by just clicking on the boxes. Click on Import Selected Slides. You can see from your slide window that there are four slides showing the PowerPoint files which you have chosen. Now the files you have chosen completely became a plain image for your slide. If you choose as image, the animation which you have inserted on your existing PowerPoint file will be removed. Now let's use another type of file. Create a new slide. Go to Insert tab, click on Document button, and then click on PowerPoint button. Position your cursor to where you want your file to be inserted in. Select the file you need. Click on the arrow key on the Type category. Click on the arrow key on the Type category. Now this time, let's try as slide background image. Click on it and then choose the slides you want to appear as a background image. Let's choose slide number 5. Then click on import selected slides. So now, your existing PowerPoint file became a background image for your slide. Next. Let's try the third type. Create a new slide. Go to Insert tab. Click on Document button. Click on PowerPoint button. Position your cursor to where you want your file to be inserted in. Click on the file which you need to click on Open. Click on the arrow button. Select Select as PowerPoint document. Choose the file which you need to choose. Choose the file which you need to change into a PowerPoint document. You can see below that although you have chosen the slides that you need, the import selected slides button does not appear or does not function. Remember, we are trying to change our existing PowerPoint file into a document file. 
So if we click on import all slides, the file that we have selected becomes a document file, but it does not appear as it is on your screen in this condition. So in order to see the document, we need to run the slide. Click on the slide, then click on Run from Current Slide button below your slide window. So now you can see your PowerPoint files has become a PowerPoint document file. Drag the cursor which is found on the right hand side of the document. Your file has become like a Microsoft Word file or PDF file. Now let's go to the last type. Close the window. Create a new slide. Go to Insert tab, click on Document button, then PowerPoint button, position the cursor, insert the files you need, select as PowerPoint slide. Now that we have chosen the files or the slides that we need, click on Import Selected Slides. Run the slides. Now you can see that the PowerPoint files which we have inserted has been inserted as it is, with no changes and without the removal of its animations. So your existing PowerPoint slides has been inserted on the Lecture Maker slides as it is. So there you go. Now that is all for inserting objects such as PowerPoint file in Lecture Maker. For more details on LectureMaker, please visit our website at www.dowelsoft.com.